Good evening. Hello, good evening. Can you hear me, guys? Okay. Hi, guys. Yeah, how, how are you? Good evening. Can you guys hear me yeah, and see me okay? Yeah, we hear you. Okay. All right. Good, good, good. All right. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. How are you, Romario? Well, I'm happy because this today is Friday and uh, Yay! it's Friday. <laughs> yeah. And, God, it's Friday. and because because this week has been a lot busy and exhausting, so I, I wanted to end. I wanted it to end. So you are, you want today to end? Wow! Yeah. It must be a. It must really have been a, a very bad week. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, very, yeah. very busy, very busy, stressful, <laughs> with a lot oh. of things to do. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, yeah, the good news is that it's true. It is, um, thank God it's Friday. So, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's something very positive, right? So, yeah. Um, do you have plans for the weekend? Yeah, actually, um, I'm going to go to the Liverpool port. Puerto oh, Liverpool. nice. Okay. Um, any like any reason in particular, or just to go and have, to have lunch? Ah, oh, to have lunch. Nice. Yeah, yeah, that's that's always a nice place to have lunch. Yeah, yeah. una mariscada. <laughs> But actually, I, I don't I don't like mariscadas. <laughs> really? Ah, oh. what do you like? Like fresh uh, shrimp, but mm. not not the the soap. Okay. The, not the cream. Okay. So so how do you like your shrimp? Um, in ceviche cocktails. Mm. I, I don't know if it's it's correct to say yeah ceviche. yeah yeah that's fine yeah and um, it, it, these... it's it's okay because it's a proper name oh, right. it, it, yeah it's a proper name so it's like pupusas or things like that so so that's that's the name you can you don't really yeah. um you can't change it you can't change the okay. um, I didn't know, I didn't know that I yeah. Didn't know. And I like, I don't know how to say empanizado. Empanizado. Oh, um, oh, my goodness. Um, oh, it's at the tip of my tongue. Um, Okay, yeah, but I, I I understand what you're saying. Um, yeah, sorry, I I I will I will remember. I will remember. And Promise. I I, I like. Um, I, I don't know if oysters is conchas, or there's another word to say conchas. Uh, no, conchas are um. Actually, conchas. What are Conchas, what's the um Maybe the, the the color of the conchas? Color, it's it's like a combination of black and white, I think, or gray. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. If it's if it's um white or gray, that those are just shells. Shells. Shell. Shell. Yeah. Shells. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or, or good evening. Yeah, okay, uh huh. Um, because the other ones are oysters, the black ones are oysters. Well, it's shells, I like shells. Yeah. Mm. That's, mm. That's, that's oh, nice, nice, nice. Well, it sounds like you, you've, you have, um, 
you have your your um your trip really planned out and sounds like it's gonna be a good weekend. I hope so. Yeah. So, yeah. Out of the work. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it's gonna be really nice. Yeah. And um hello Susana. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you feeling? How are you are you better? Yeah, so so teacher. It's so so really so not not so good. <laughs> that's a hot dog. Like leader, mayor. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. Um. Well, I hope is is it just is it just your voice or do you have other symptoms? And uh, no, only voice. Ah. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Okay. I get it. So it's it's still inflamed. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you taking steroids? And no, no. Okay. No, it's a a thick glycomus. Like, it's a, a only a little a strong. A little strong. But it's a uh -huh. it's a do, how do you say dolor? Yeah, uh, pain. Pain. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, okay. Sorry to hear that. But yeah, me. But you have gone to the doctor, right, Susana? No? I see doctor, no. <laughs> oh my, yeah, no, but you should, you should go to the doctor. No, I don't, I don't take a medicine. No. Oh, yeah. I, no, but you need. The thing is that right now your your throat is inflamed. It's it's it, that's the reason why, um, uh, the that that's the reason why you're 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 talking like that because your vocal cords are inflamed, and um, uh, if you don't take um steroids, it, it might like. Um, cause a bit of damage so it would be good that you that you get um, to the doctor and, and they can they can give you some medication yeah uh, only, <clears throat> only drink uh, a tea yeah teas are good but um it's otherwise it's going to take a very very long time because it's it's inflamed so it needs to go down it needs to yeah, it needs to be un like it, it needs to, um, yeah, be be um disinflamed basically. Yeah, so it, it would be good. I mean, teas are good. Teas are very very good, but um, probably you need something stronger. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. You should you should have someone take a look at that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's a, a relaxing of weekend. Mm, okay, good. <laughs> I hope I hope you have a relaxing weekend. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Um okay, just give me a second, guys. One moment, guys. <clears throat> okay. Um, all right. Uh hello, Wendy. Wendy, can you hear me? Hello, Wendy. Sorry, teacher. I gained. I gained a connection. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, hey, I'm fine. Yeah. Uh, very, very, yes. This, this day was very, very busy. <laughs> <clears throat> 
Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is and that good? I eating, eating my my lunch in the office, uh -huh. and I go out. I go out. No, I finish 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 my work at six six thirty. No, six six oh. fifteen. Uh -huh. Yeah. Nice. Very busy. <laughs> a little tired. I'm more tired. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I can only imagine. But do you work tomorrow? Yes. Yeah. Only in the morning. Oh. Yes. Only in the morning. Yeah. Yes. That's the 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 morning goes by, goes by really quickly. So yes. it, you you will you will soon be out and ready to enjoy your your weekend yeah <clears throat> yeah okay um uh all right well I'm, I'm glad you're able to um to enjoy your 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 time off now that you you know you're you've, you've finished your day and um yeah I'm sure tomorrow's gonna be better do you have any do you have any plans for the weekend Wendy my plans in weekend are I boring. <clears throat> I am boring person. You're you're bored. <laughs> only yes, only uh, only in the church uh, with my family um. or yes, I <clears throat> I. I drink no. I drink coffee with with a friend and family. <laughs> mm, or okay. visit in in Sunday in some Sunday. Uh, visit is my my cousin mm -hmm. and my niece. Mm -hmm. My brother oh. and, and and his and his wife. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. so that will be nice. Yes. My vacation is is I I enjoy. <laughs> okay. Only, okay, only good, vacation. good, good. Yeah, that's excellent. Yeah. Very, very good. By the way, have you tried what I um the, the website that I that I sent you? Did did you already start using it? The website? <clears throat> web, website. Ah, yeah. sorry, no, no, no. In, okay. in, in this night, yes. Okay, in okay, night, yeah, no problem, night. no problem. Maybe yeah. this weekend you can start doing that. Uh -huh. Yes, in weekend. Yeah, okay, good, good, Thanks. good. All right, hello, Silvia Sulema. Silvia Sulema, are you there? Hello? Silvia Sulema. Oh, I think she may not be here. Okay. All right. Um, hello, Jennifer. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Um good. Yeah, I'm pretty good. Yeah? A little Just, bit tired, yeah. You're tired? Yeah. Yeah. You had a good uh, yeah. Oh. yeah? You had a, a tough day today? Yes, and I'm just taking a break from my desk. I have to work later. Mm, wow. You still have to work. No, yeah, but um, we have um, um, infrastructure movement in the main office, mm -hmm. and I need to be on call. Mm, okay, okay. I'm waiting for for for. Wow, so so yeah, so until what time are you going to be like on duty? <laughs> Yeah, um, well, 12 for 
12 o'clock, my time, and, or could be at 2 a.m. Hmm. 2 a.m. Wow. Yeah, that's that's um that's gonna be a a, a bit of a night. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I, need, I need to wait so long until they finish <laughs> wow. their task there. Okay, okay. Well hopefully it will be it'll be okay. Yeah, yeah my hope will be just everything goes right mm -hmm. well and doesn't take a lot of time. Yeah, but you don't work tomorrow. No, 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 no. I don't work on weekends, but this is a special, a very special request from, from them. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. All right, good, good. I'm I'm um I'm happy that you're able to um you know be a little bit flexible and and um you're you're not gonna be able you're you're not gonna it's not going to affect you so much on, on the weekend, right? So, right. Are, uh -huh. Yeah. A couple of hours. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Well, um, uh, we, you know, um, the, actually, I, I like, I like this, this expression, the, the Turkish have an expression, I really like the, you can't really translate any other way. If they say, kolay gelsen. And what it literally means is, uh, may may it be easy. May it mm. be easy. May it be easy for you. So you say it to a person when you see that they are working or they're doing something hard. Um, and so you say kolaygelsen, like you're saying, like I hope you have a good a good day. Um, I hope your your work is easy. Mm, yeah. 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 Okay. So. So, you, uh, like I said. <laughs> thank you to be a a, a, a pretty nice <laughs> uh, to be kind <laughs> yeah yeah the, yeah exactly it's it's like a like a wish you you yeah. it's like a wish to the person like um uh yeah it's almost like when you're saying like que le vaya bien or something like mm -hmm. that but 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 you're talking specifically about work like something, mm -hmm. and not like something that they're doing that or, that um, involves effort from their parts, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, that's good. Okay. Hello, Manuel. How are you? Hello, teacher. Uh, good evening, everybody. Good evening. How you been? Uh, uh, all good, teacher. Good, good, good. Okay, excellent. Um, so, ready for the week for the weekend? Yes. Uh, also, I'm ready for shine. I'm ready to shine. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I I like that. I'm ready for the action. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. That's that's always something very positive. <laughs> Yeah, that's excellent, that's excellent. Okay, I hope good. to learn uh, something new today. Yeah, of course you're going to learn something new today. Today Absolutely. or tonight? Oh, well, yeah. Better tonight. Tonight, yeah. Yeah, tonight. better said tonight, tonight, yeah. For you, it's tonight. <laughs> okay, yeah, teacher. I, I forget. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, but it's good. It's good, excellent. Okay. Um, hello, Delbert. <clears throat> Hello, teacher. How are you? Good, good. How are you? Good. I'm fine uh, with problem with my laptop since oh. yesterday. Mm. I don't know what happened. And yesterday, sorry, I, I, I couldn't connect. Uh, okay. My laptop it doesn't work. It uh, doesn't work. And, uh, and, and I was so tired. <laughs> and wow. I... I I quit. Yeah, it happens. It happens. Sorry, but but oh. but, but I'm here ready. Yes, good, good, good. I like that. That's that's the important thing, um, and 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 that's a good attitude. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, 
And um, I, is today your last day of work or do, are you going to be working on the weekend? I'm going to work tomorrow. Uh, maybe until noon. Oh. Oh, maybe uh, later. I don't know, but but I, I, I'm going to work. Oh, good, good, good. Excellent. All right. Well, um, you know, it, I always say at least we have a job. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. poor and... <laughs> yeah, I'm... but it... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so just half a day, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 All right, guys. Um, it we're going to take attendance. Okay, so we are going to start. So, um, for the people that have sent messages that um, you know something's going on and you can't really connect to like fully to the class. I just need you guys to um, make sure that you are um, doing the um, um, like oh like answering for the for the attendance. Okay, so if you guys can um, at least do that for me, um, you know I really appreciate it so that we can have. Um, we can have your your attendance. Okay, so let's start um, first of all with Cristia. Hello, Cristia. Are you able to are you able to take the attendance, Cristia? No. Mm. Delbert. Present. Wonderful. Thank you. Uh, Diana. Diana. I don't know if you can hear us. Sounds like you may not. Diana, hello. <clears throat> okay. Jennifer. Jennifer Elizabeth, not here, right? Okay. I don't know. Yeah, I'm here. Oh, <laughs> okay. There's okay. To, yeah, to the microphone because I'm in my cell phone right now. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Got it. All right, no problem. Okay, Jorge. Present teacher. Wonderful. Thank you very much for answering, Manuel. Present teacher. Excellent. Maria Elena. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Mario Ernesto. Mario Ernesto. No. Okay. And the other Mario also, right? Mario Jose. Can't see it. None of the Marios. Only Romario. <laughs> Okay, Norma. No, Norma also isn't here. And Romario. Present. All right. Sil uh, Silvia Suleima. Present. Excellent. Um, are you having problems with the camera? Ah, there you are. Okay, wonderful. Susana. Hello. Present teacher. Wonderful. Thank you. And Wendy. Present teacher. All right. Wonderful. Thank you guys for connecting. Um, that's excellent. Thank you. Because, well, you guys, have, well, we've talked about this before, you know, that um, we really, really need your attendance because we are... Um, you know, we have this special case with our course, you know, that um, it, we are, <clears throat> um, oh, uh, Cristia? Okay, okay, she just wrote. Okay, thank you, Cristia. 
Okay, yeah, we have a, a special case with our course, right? That we um we not having we don't have everybody's connecting, and we need everybody connecting because, um, you know, we we have like a special permission, let's say, um, to have our course open, sim um, even though we are smaller than we should. So thank you very much for 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 connecting, guys. Okay, so we're gonna start. Um. Please tell me if um, you are able to see my. Are you able to see it? Yes, teacher. Okay. Good, good. All right, so this is excellent. All right, so this is a course, the English for Work program. It's the Advanced Module Two, Facilitator Jessica Guerrero, and today is April fourteenth, two thousand twenty-three, and it's day number fifteen. Okay, so um, yesterday we were discussing these two questions: what is an ethical value? And what are some examples of an ethical practices? You made a presentation and you actually presented yesterday. So these were the groups that um, we had yesterday. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take you back to these same groups. Um, I told you yesterday that you were gonna be using your presentation. Why? Because yesterday you made a list of some ethical unethical practices. What I want you to do now is go back to your group and I want you to talk about what are the consequences of each of the unethical practices that you have talked about. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. It's clear. Yeah. So I'll I'll repeat it one more time just in case it's not clear for some of you. So I'm going to take you back to your same groups from yesterday, which were these. Okay. And you're going to be using the presentation that you created yesterday to talk about those examples of unethical practices. And using those examples of unethical practices for each point, for each example, talk about what are the consequences of have of um using or or yeah of, of having those unethical practices happen at the workplace. Okay. And then you can you can present to the class. Okay. Sounds good guys. Could you repeat that, please? Okay. Uh, the everything or or just the last part. The the discussion that we're going to have in groups. Okay, so the discussion you're going to go have in groups is for these unethical pra practices. So each unethical practice. So if you talked about five unethical practices, you're going to be talking about those each five of them. If you just talked about three, you're going to um, talk about each three of those. Um, and you're gonna talk about the consequences of um, doing those unethical practices in the workplace. For each point, talk about the consequences. Does that make sense, Jennifer? Yes. Okay, good, good, good. Any questions that you wanna ask me? Before we continue. No from me. No? You sure? In my case, I didn't attend yesterday the class, so I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay, it's it's okay. I will assign you to a group. Don't no don't worry about it. Okay. So um I'll send you to a new group to, you know, and, and they will explain what they did um, each because each group did something different. Okay. So 
the instructions are clear for you guys? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put you right now into those groups. Um. Okay. Um. Just a second, guys. I forget this assignment. Um, for the people that are, um, like having, like that they have certain circumstances that doesn't allow them to fully, um, engage in the class. I'm still going to be assigning you a group. Um, so the only thing is that, um, you know, when you are available to connect and then you can go ahead and participate in the class, okay? But I, st I still will assign you to a group, okay? Just so that it's easy, it's easier. Just give me a moment, guys. Okay, so um, I had Jennifer and Jorge and Maria Elena in group number one. In group number two, I had Manuel Antonio, Mario Ernesto, who's not here, and Wendy. In group number three, I had uh, Cristia, is Silvia Suleyma, and Susana. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I will add um, somebody to each group um, of the people that were not here. Um, Okay, so I'm gonna add um second yeah. Okay, all right. So I've added everybody. Um I'm going to give you about 15 minutes. I think I think it should be. Oh, Oh no, sorry guys. Se me borro. I'm gonna start again. Sorry guys, really sorry about that. Okay, I'm gonna start again. So we have Grisia, Jorge, um, yes, and Maria Elena. Group number one, group number two, uh, Manuel Antonio. And, uh, Mario Ernesto, who is not here, and Wendy. Okay, and then in group number three, we had um, Cristia, who is not here right now, and Silvia Azulema, and Susana. Missed something here. Okay. Group number one. Oh, okay. Move to to group number three. And here is supposed to be Jennifer. Okay. So mm -hmm. second, guys. Okay, all right, now I have you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna give you about 15 minutes and remember you are going to be presenting. So um, keep that in mind so that you are able to um, 
present the unethical practice and the consequence of that unethical practice for each one of them. Okay. And each of, and we need to use uh, the same uh, presentation that we showed yesterday. That would be ideal. Yeah. If you, so, if you can, yeah. if you if you have that presentation, that would be better. Yeah, I don't have in my phone. I did it on my uh, desktop. Oh, okay. Uh, does anybody else have it in your group? I don't think so because Jorge Humberto, I don't know if he's, if he's available, but um, even though I didn't take um, what well, didn't took didn't take a screenshot for that. Mm. I remember what what unethical practice we we talk about. Okay, yeah, th that's what I was going to ask you. So if you don't, if you don't have it, then just create a new one, and as long as you are, you know, talking about the same thing. Okay. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's open the rooms. Hello, Jennifer. Um, okay, so yesterday you were working with, oh man. Wait a second. Um, so you were working with Jorge and Maria Elena, but neither one of their, okay, so just give me a moment. Let me bring. Okay. Hello, Romario. Hello. Okay, so I just I just moved you because um it we needed your your help here. Oh, Jennifer? Yes, okay. I'm here. All right, so um, you were, do you have the presentation? N no, I don't have no. it in okay. myself. Okay, all right, so, um, but you do ha have the information, right? From yes, yesterday. I have yes. Okay, so you can share that with Romario. Okay, so, and then you can discuss with him the, the consequences. Okay. Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay. Well, you, we talk about unethical practices yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Is example. Okay. Is example like for example. Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Go ahead. Wait. Today, uh, Delbert. For today, we we can choose uh, one example. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, of unethical, and then uh, you 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 have to found uh, the the consequences about mm -hmm. about okay. about this uh, unethical practice. Okay, okay. Uh, I hear Wendy. Uh, could you repeat Wendy the, the, your? Okay, uh, the, when the a company. Uh -huh. uh, okay. When a company sells a product uh -huh. of bad quality. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Of, of bad quality at expensive price. Okay. Mm. A consequence, a consequence, for example, uh, uh, the customers buy a product for example, uh, mm, uh, uh, artifacts 
dangerous, dangerous mm -hmm. artifact. Uh, yeah. Example, how do you say podadora? No, mm -hmm. no, hay, no hay eso. Uh, for example, her, her, no sé cómo se dice secadora de pelo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> o plancha. Iron, mm -hmm. uh, okay. iron. Wait, mm -hmm. wait, wait. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, a consequence, uh, for example, uh, it's very hot in mm -hmm. a fire. Fire mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. the hire of Cows. the customer. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. It's a, it's a bad uh, yeah. consequence. It's a bad consequence. Uh, other, other example, uh, uh, I don't know. What do you say? Delbert, uh, so, I think uh, you can uh, choose one example. Example. Yes, and then you you, uh, mm -hmm. you can about practice. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. But practice at least, was, ah, uh, at least uner, one. Unerical. One example. Unerical. Yes, uh, unerical practice. Uh, mm -hmm. In business or or, or unethical behavior, <clears throat> and then uh, we are to, well, we we are going to explain the the, the consequence. Um, for the maybe in the environment or mm -hmm. in legal process. A, do mm -hmm. a doctor. Yes. With a mm -hmm. doctor, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. I was thinking uh, uh, some some company that danger the environment. What what do you say, uh, Manuel? Yes. The cons consequence for the company maybe is uh, uh well uh, <clears throat> i i forget always this 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 word multa <coughs> peace oh or... fine fine <laughs> sorry for teaching no 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 it's uh, okay mm -hmm. uh, I, example um a company sanjak mm -hmm. oh Environment. You, you tell me this this uh the history I, I didn't i didn't know the history of the san uh, you you tell me one day of this explain explain, you explain, explain. this the, yes yeah. the company closed his operations um it's a, it's a, the well, operation well, for my, bad practice right the, uh, I I I understand no close don't close no, okay no close um I keep keep I, keeping uh, in in uh, for example in Metro Centro is is Sanja there are Sanja but the the, the, Pusha, the store Pusha. only the store but the, the store only store yes uh, store, with the, the factory the I, don't, I, I don't the know the uh, no uh, know. The, uh, according to the the, the uh, how do you say Prepare, uh, no. fix, fix the the fix the problem Hello. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Um, Marie, Marie Elena, are you able to um to participate in the discussion? Um, for the moment, not teacher. Mm -hmm. next, okay. Next week. Yes, better for me. Okay, okay, all right, good. Um, no problem. But Suleima, yes. Susana,
Hello, Silvia Suleima. Hi, teacher. Hello, Susana. Um, what happened in this group? Pero que ninguna puede participar, teacher. Silvia Suleima. Se supone que Silvia Suleima está ahí. Hello, Silvia Suleima. Silvia Suleima. Were you here in the, you were here yesterday, right? Were you here yesterday, Susana? Yesterday, and my parents was the Sylvia and Christian. Okay, but you were you were uh -huh. you were here, right? You you were here yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday, yes. Okay, good. Do you have the presentation from yesterday? Yes. Okay. Um, let me write to Sylvia Suleiman because. Um, she's supposed to be here. She hasn't said anything about no, not being able to participate. Sorry, teacher. I was asleep, my daughter. Okay, okay, no problem. Are Are you available now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. There you are. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. So, um, I need you working with Susana because um, Cristian and Maria Elena are not able to connect, and oh, better said, they're unable to participate in the discussion. So, I really need you to work with Susana. Okay. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Thank you. All right. So go ahead, girls. Talk about your, your the the consequences of your uh, the unethical practices that you did yesterday. Okay. Uh, Susana, you have the presentation. Susana? Yo. Oh. Susana, are you there? Hey, we can't hear you. Your 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 microphone is is off. Yes. Okay. I look in chat the presentation in the computer. Okay, the first uh, unethical value is customer overbuilding. For me, this this unethical value have a consequence uh, of money because when the 
client or customers um, pay more uh, more about one product uh, the, the customers don't don't buy of new in this commerce Uh, Susana, if if it's difficult for you to speak, um, no, don't worry about it. What what you can do is write in like chat in the chat. Okay, so if Sule you know, Suleima can can um say something, and you can respond in the chat. Okay. Ay, sinceramente no, no le entiendo qué vamos a hacer, teacher. O sea, ¿qué? ¿Qué vamos a hacer de la presentación? No, no, no le entiendo mucho. Okay, can, can you ask me in English? Susana, can you ask me in English? Because I understand, understand and the talking the presentations okay I don't so know. do you remember do you remember um that yesterday we did the presentation about unethical practices yes yesterday the presentation okay good but here, here what okay good so now that we have the presentations um eh, you are going to talk about the consequences you, you understand consequences do, do you understand the word consequences yes yeah okay so we're going to be talking about the consequences of every unethical practice okay the consequences of each unethical practice so you had a list yesterday. How many unethical practices? Yes, but it's a. Uh, I look it in the in the internet. Uh, the consequences. No, 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 I, no, 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 no. No, it's not on the internet. A, it's not in the internet. No, it's para you. Para entenderlo, excuse me. Para entenderlo, yo tengo que saber cuáles son las consecuencias de esas cosas, teacher. No puedo no. hablar si no conozco del tema. Entonces yo tengo que saber las consecuencias que trae de cada cosa. Por eso tengo es, que tener es que una no idea, hay... una idea para poder hablar de qué. O sea, o sea es mi, mi opinión, teacher. Sorry, but it's in my opinion. O sea, vaya, es como, ¿cuál es la consecuencia de que... Um, de que yo me robe un dinero de la empresa. Sí, pero que ellas ayer dieron la idea porque yo ayer yo no podía hablar nada. Entonces yo lo que hice, ellos me pasaron las cosas y yo armé la presentación. Entonces no puse muy atención de qué es, o sea, tengo que estarla leyendo para tener la, una idea, teacher. ¿Me ok, sí, sí, sí. Vale. pero lo que le estoy diciendo es de que en sí la consecuencia no la va a hallar en, en, en internet, porque eso no es algo que, el, el, la idea es de que ustedes van a discutir eso. Sí, o sea, sí de, pero de lo, tengo de... que saber la consecuencia de cada una de las ideas que transmitieron las compañeras, no sé si me entiendes. 
O sea, el ejemplo que usted dio de robar, sí, yo sé, es fácil, pero tengo que ir leyendo la consecuencia de cada una. O sea, no sé si me entiende, pues. Susana, es que en este caso, eh, realmente, por ejemplo, en el primero es Customer Overbuilding, que era cobrarle de más al cliente o cobrar de más, por, el, por que dice ahí el ejemplo. Sí, pero yo le entiendo, compañera, pero yo no tengo, no sé muy bien el inglés, entonces yo lo que me tardo porque yo tengo que traducir la parte que es para entender qué es lo que están hablando, okay. que es para ver porque no lo entiendo, entonces yo Bye. traduzco Susana. más o menos para Bye. tener una idea para, eh, para empezar Susana necesito que se, eh, necesito que cambiemos un poquito ese chip ¿verdad? de que vamos a estar traduciendo todo porque si traducimos todo nunca vamos a más realmente aprender el idioma eh, porque de lo contrario, siempre vamos a tener que traducir todo. Entonces, eh, no podemos estar traduciendo todo. Es un, o sea, imagínese a alguien que quiera aprender español y todo tenga que traducirlo. Entonces, realmente no, usted va a decir, esta persona no habla, no habla español porque no entiende el, el, el idioma. Entonces, para poder realmente entender el idioma, que yo sé que usted tiene la capacidad de hacerlo, pero tenemos que quitarnos esa, esa idea de que vamos a traducir todo. No podemos estar traduciendo todo. Entonces, lo que hay que hacer es ir con lo, con lo que sí entendemos. Vamos discutiendo, lo vamos hablando, preguntando esto y lo otro, eh, para que podemos llegar a esa conclusión en el idioma. Porque um, la sí, única... Sí, yo le entiendo y yo sé, pero ahorita yo tengo que por lo menos saber de qué una idea, de qué. Ni modo, así soy yo, teacher. <risa> ahorita yo tengo que, que okay. entender, o sea, una palabrita para saber qué. Eh, ni modo, así okay. soy yo. Vale, ok, muy bien. Una, entonces pregunte, pero en vez de traducirlo, Pregunte, discútalo. Eh, you can ask, uh, what does overbilling mean? Eh, si usted no entiende la palabra overbilling, you can ask, what does overbilling mean? Pero, sí, pero ahorita no puedo estar hablando mucho. Sí, sí, pero Entonces, lo puede escribir. O sea, el punto, Susana, es de que no se limite. No se limite porque... Um, si estamos de que no, no, yo no lo puedo hacer, no es que yo, yo, yo de esta no, forma es lo hago. No, yo no he dicho que yo lo, no lo puedo hacer, teacher. Discúlpeme, pero yo no he dicho que yo no lo puedo hacer. Esa es mi forma de trabajar y entenderlo. Entonces, eh, lo siento, y, y, ¿verdad? Si, ¿Siente usted que usted está aprendiendo el idioma de esta forma? ¿Siente que, que realmente lo está manejando? Mire, la verdad, teacher, que quizás me voy a salir de este día de la clase. Lo siento mucho, pero me voy a salir de este día de la clase. Si no le, no, no le parece. Yo estoy tratando de ayudarle, ahorita, Susana. Pero... Le estoy tratando de sí, ayudar no. porque me, me interesa que usted aprenda. Eh, eh, quiero que usted ah, eh, realmente logre entender um, la, la información. Usted dice, me cuesta. Bien, a todos nos cuestan las cosas, pero... Si la, lo que ha estado haciendo en el pasado no le ha estado funcionando porque todavía no siente que a, entiende bien el idioma, entonces algo que puede hacer es ir a, a intentar algo nuevo, ¿verdad? Si lo, lo anterior no le ha estado funcionando, entonces hay que intentar algo nuevo para tener resultados diferentes. Entonces, es lo único que le estoy tratando de decir. Estoy tratando de ayudarle, Susana, pero necesito también su colaboración, ¿verdad? Porque eh, yo quiero que usted aprenda, pero no, o sea, no, no es suficiente que yo quiera que usted aprenda. Necesito también que usted eh, eh, Va, tenga esa actitud de que, bueno, lo voy a, lo voy a intentar, voy a hacer esto, porque eh, así de esta forma usted va a poder um, lograrlo. Yo sé, usted tiene la capacidad, pero um, 
como le digo, si, si, um, si intentamos algo diferente, hay más posibilidades de que usted pueda tener un resultado diferente. Entonces, por eso le estoy dando opciones, le estoy dando una, una nueva forma de ver las cosas y a ver, y si usted lo intenta, tal vez funcione, tal vez no, pero no va a saber al menos que lo intente algún medio. Entonces, por eso le digo, si usted no puede hablarlo, está bien, yo le digo, no hay problema, escríbalo. Yo le les estoy dando opciones de otra forma, no, o sea, eh, yo entiendo que usted ahorita está enferma y le agradezco mucho que a pesar que está enferma, está en clase. Um, entonces, lo único que digo, ok, busquémosle otra alternativa. Si no puede hablar, escríbelo. Um, y, y así podemos saber, porque también acuérdense que eh, afecta también um, en... Eh, nuestro desempeño afecta también al grupo. Entonces, usted ahorita está, quiero ver si no me equivoco. Vamos a ver. Um, sí, ok. Entonces, ahorita está usted con María Elena, Zulema y, uh, eh, y Cristia. Cristia y María Elena ahorita no es, eh, están en el grupo, pero tienen circunstancias. En, fuera de lo común lo, y no pueden estar participando. Entonces, eh, ahorita solamente está Zuleima y usted en el grupo. Entonces, si usted sale, ¿con qué va a trabajar Zuleima? ¿Verdad? Entonces, eh, por eso le digo, intentémoslo. Yo sé que usted puede. Solo haga, haga el esfuerzo ahí, haga un... Mm, ¿Verdad? vea una otra forma de poder um, eh, ver cómo soluciona y yo sé que os lo puede hacer. Yo lo sé, ¿ok? Entonces voy a, voy a irme a otro grupo, a ayudar a otro grupo eh, mientras ustedes um, hablan, pero lo que, lo que yo quiero es que usted y su leima lo puedan hablar, puedan discutirlo y todo um, y sacar algo bueno de ahí. Yo sé que ustedes lo, la, todos lo pueden lograr, ¿ok? Ok, voy a ir entonces ahorita al otro grupo y um, después regreso. Si ustedes tienen alguna pregunta, alguna duda, pueden ustedes poner, a apretar ahí el botoncito para que yo pueda regresar al grupo y le pueda responder cualquier inquietud que, tienen, de que, que tengan, ¿ok? Hi guys, are you how are you doing in this court in this um group? Yeah, we finished uh, discussing the examples. Okay, wonderful. Um, are you? Would you be ready to present? Mm, yes, to talk about the examples. Yeah. Okay. And the consequences. Yes. You're, you're ready. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. Um, all right. I'm going to go and check the other groups to see how they're doing. And um, when everybody's finished, we'll come back. Okay. No to the thanks. main groups. Okay. He's a, a little short. The time is a little short, yes. Hi, guys. Anything How else? Doing? Hello. Hi. How are you doing, guys? Are we almost ready? Or are you? Okay. We are. Uh... Mm -hmm. I, I think we are ready. We, yeah. we have a, a great discussion here. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Excellent. I like that. I like that. Excellent. Very, the, very good. The time will, will, enough, will be enough. OK, good, good, good. Uh, the, what did you say, Manuel? The time will uh, will be enough. The time that we've had right now is enough. Uh, no. Or you need more. Uh, oh, you uh, won't no, no, have. No, <laughs> In the presentation, I, 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 I think the the time where uh, we're 
good enough. Okay. What, what the present the time for the presentation will be enough. Yes. Okay. 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 Good. 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 <laughs> only one is left. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was yes, actually going to ask you that. So you only talked about two, yes. um, uh, about two unethical practices. Yes, but the oh. consequences are 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 many. Okay, okay, yeah, that 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 works too. That that works too. Um, okay. okay. Um. So. so, so mm -hmm. Sorry, uh, we we are discussing the the, the what the maybe sometimes the consequence um, um, is an action too uh, how, how, how we explain you uh, if, if we if we say uh, pollution uh, maybe it will be a, a a consequence, but it's an action too. And pollution, the action of pollution, mm -hmm. uh, the consequence is uh, animal effect, uh, uh, global warming, something like that. But this word pollution is a consequence too of the, the environmental dangers. Okay, so a, uh, a consequence can bring another consequence. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, that sounds good. Yeah, of course, that sounds good. Okay, what I do, I, I, what I do ask is that make sure that everybody in the group participates, right? So everybody has something to say, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, every, everybody has like a, like their part assigned. Uh, yes, yes. Yes, it's yeah. a, a, I think uh, Robert can help to to talk about environment danger. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. And um, what about Wendy? Also, yes, yes. Wendy, Wendy. Uh, Separate too much. Yes, mm? about uh, environment danger. Okay. A new one? Uh, exploiting workers. Okay. 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 So, so Delbert is going to talk specifically about the. Uh, we have only two. Yeah. Only yeah, two unethical practice, but, but the, 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 the rain is storming. Uh, we okay. Participate. Okay. All no, of, but but of. yeah, I just I, I was just asking, making sure that everybody has a part that they're going to give that everybody knows what okay. they're going to pre present in, right? right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Good. All right. I'm just gonna go and see the other groups, see how they how they are, and okay. um, we'll come back into the main group in a moment. Okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. Uh, Delbert. Mm -hmm. uh, I understand, I understood the teacher that Uh, in the dream, I think that uh, that if the if a girl um uh, and use the the dressing indecent, uh, um, the people uh, can respect uh, to this person because the the person being um como what is the mean what is the traduction morboso teacher morboso um como como mal pensados como 
Oh, okay. Um, we could say um, uh, dirty minded. Dirty minded. Okay. I'll write in the chat. Dirty minded. And what it literally means is, the, uh, yeah, uh -huh. it means like the mente sucia, right? Uh huh. Perfect. Yeah. Huh? The 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 opinion of Susana is is correct. Um, bad presentation for the employee. Okay, would you be ready, girls, to present? What? Are, are we ready to present now? Can can we, can we go back to the main group and, and present? Um, yes? I don't understand it. Can I take you back to the main group? To the to the main class, so everybody is together and we can present. Sorry. So teacher. okay, so so I'm going to right now. You are in small groups, yeah. <clears throat> can I go back to the main group? Everybody together, and we will listen to the presentations. Um, Vamos. Vamos a regresar al grupo y presentar. Are you ready? Mm, not yet, teacher. Okay. Can you present anything you have? Whatever you have, you can present. Sounds good? Okay. Because the other groups are already finished. So, um, so we're going to go back to the main group. Okay, everybody together, and then you can um you can present. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys, so we're going to start presenting. Um, we'll start with group number one, which is, um, <clears throat> we'll start with Antiana, Jennifer, Jorge, and Romario. Yeah, we're 
Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Uh, we were discussing some unethical practices with Jennifer and the other classmates. And well, I, I wrote uh, some of these. Token. There are a couple uh, I added. Uh, I have the, the first one is take advantage of foreign conflicts. Uh, for example, some countries or the most common example people give is the United States. When there's a conflict in, in another country, people tend to say that they uh, look for taking advantage of the conflict to gain some, for example, resources uh, like oil or something like that. And uh, well, consequences of this could be people suffering because they, they get stuck between the, the world and they may have injuries or even the death, uh, also they uh, go into poverty and there's affection in the economy. Um, the other is false advertisement. Um, in this case, for example, some uh, companies that tend to offer things that seem something, but when you, you uh, buy them, uh, they're actually another thing that different or or not exactly what you saw in the advertisement so in this case uh, we might we may have uh, angry customers uh, we could lose lose customers also uh, it could it could give the company a bad reputation and it also could get uh, government sanctions because of this this practice and well the next is uh, for example to be in government to be a, a worker of the government and some in some cases or we've seen in the news uh, sometimes that has happened uh, someone or or some yeah someone in, in a, a position uh, uh, accept an un over sorry key sorry here is an overpriced offer to a project and um, it could be to a friend's company and and they make make a, they uh, might uh, make a deal between them and uh, the the goal for them is to earn money uh, with this overpriced yeah. offer and if they are discovered, they could uh, face penal sanctions, maybe jail, because this could be sort of uh, like an act of corruption, maybe. Uh, it could give the, this person's bad reputation, etc. And the last one is to sell food. And uh, this for, for food processing companies, to sell food that is not safe for human consumption to avoid losses. Um, yeah, sometimes it happens that these companies might not have the best hygienic conditions to process food, and uh, usually they they are uh, they they have to to make some uh, analysis analysis uh, microbiolo microbiological anal analysis and. Sometimes they uh, give uh, results that uh, shows shows us that the the food is not uh, is not safe for for human consumption because they could uh, cause uh, uh, people to get sick or maybe cause a, a serious uh, illness in the in the cons consumer. And well, the consequences that those I mentioned, food poisoning, it is known to eat something with a 
maybe a bacteria that can cause a serious disease. And also it could give, it, it, it could uh, make that the, this company could get a legal sanction from the, maybe the, the sanitary uh, authorities. That does, that's some of the practices we discuss. I don't know if you have any comments. Okay, all right. Uh, I don't know if somebody in your group wants to add anything. Do you want to add anything to the presentation? No, teacher. No? That's all okay. Okay, all right. Thank you very much. An applause. Excellent. Okay, good, good. Okay. Um, all right. Yes, excellent. Um, let's now hear um, group number two, Delbert, Manuel, and Wendy. Ideally, if everybody can, in the group can talk about something, that would be wonderful. Good evening, everybody. Uh, we we were talking about uh, unethical behavior in businesses. Um, we have a short presentation about the unethical practices and the consequences. In the, the, the first part, exploiting workers, uh, yesterday we explained uh, in what consists this uh, practice. But for today, uh, we are going to explain about the consequences and there are many consequences, but we, we have uh, the, the main consequence. And the, the, the first one is uh, legal problems, but but who or, or why why problems with authority? But uh, all country have uh, labor rules or, or prohibit and regulation about the house, about uh, the, uh, uh, for example, the child labor uh, contain prohibi prohibition, prohibition and regulation. Uh, uh, that that's a, uh, in the case of child prohibit uh, children from working in certain occupation. For example, and, and re regulate their condition conditions work. For example, a, a child doesn't doesn't work in a railroad railroad uh, station because it's a, this occupation putting a, a putting to to the child a child in a, exposed to danger a, or. A, hazard, right? And about the working hours uh, is other other topic that this rule, that this uh, act of law con contain uh, because uh, the the myth of this act light uh, down rules for those employing uh, child children uh, as well as pen penalties for their uh, unlawful uh, employment. Uh, also, one consequence is uh, unsatisfied workers, uh, low salary strike or stop. Uh, that uh, is a, a short definition or short uh, information about uh, consequence. 
É... Next is a uh, uh, classmate Wendy. Okay, environmental danger. Uh, um, an example is a factory San Jack um, in San Salvador. I don't remember in San Salvador. Uh, this factory. Oh, yes. sorry. See you on Tivo Custapan. Sorry, thank you. Uh, this factory ca um, causes pollution of river with the paint for the for the coal. Uh, uh, clothes, fabricate clothes, pajamas, and kids' clothes. And this factory uh, pollution the ri the river with paint and the consequence uh, for the for the people in in this in their their house uh, pollution of the water it is impossible um, consume the water or or use the water in other consequence animals affect for example the fish uh, for example other uh, plants or other animals uh, the uh, the consequence um, very employed or money employed uh, close I remember close for close factory for for two weeks or two weekend two week sorry I don't remember for what time close in employees uh, in in this thing, this time uh, is they they do not not work work in the same and is a uh, not not close uh, for more time and because pollution river uh, penal I remember penalty of the factory and arrest at the owner of or a manager. Yes. Yeah. Thank it's, you. It's my participant. Thank you, Wendy. And next is uh, Delbert with the rest of the presentation. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Manuel. And Wendy, I'm going to, to, to add some uh, uh, topics for 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 this uh, presentation of the consequence of the two ethical uh, practice uh, mentioned uh, in in the exploiting worker right we are discussing that the, uh, many actions becomes consequence too because uh, an insatisfied workers maybe is for salary low salary and low salary, low salary becomes a strikes and a stop of, of operation of the factory. Um, these these consequences generate other consequences, uh, like uh, there is no development in, in society, and therefore for the countries, right? And the other, the other uh, unethical practice, environmental danger, like uh, uh, pollution that mentioned uh, uh, Wendy, uh, the global warming is is affected uh, uh, all all the countries, not only we uh, our country, and the glo global warming is a is a is a great uh, problem with the, with the society. And we, we consider that two points is, 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 is crucial for the, for the uh, uh, company to respond, respond so. That's enough. 
That's all? Okay. That's all. All cool. right. Thank you very much. Very good. Excellent job, guys. All right. Thank you. All right. Very, very good. Um, now let's do the last group, which is uh, Cristia, Maria Elena, Cyrus Lima, and Susana. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. girls, ready when you are. Sylvia. Okay, in this in in this group, uh, the numerical values are the first customers over billing. In this case, the consequence uh within is uh the bad reputation because the client pay the uh, for for a product but uh, for a product that i say i say that i work five hours but is is lie it, i i work two hours in in this case i think the the client uh, may, uh, will make a a bad uh, reputation for the brand and the second misleading advertising or advertising false I think that uh, the consequence is the lost client. For example, uh, when I visit, um, for example, biggest uh, uh, McDonald's, uh, I I I eat a hamburger that I see a uh, advertising. Uh, is a, a a hamburger very very big um, a big and delicious, but they and they give me a hamburger very very bad. In this case, I think the the consequences the loss the claims. In three, Susana. Uh, the three is being in the sun in our way of dressing. I I understand that in this case, for example, uh, the co-workers or customers can be respect, for example, a, a girl when use uh in the same um uh, dress <clears throat> um or also can to produce a bad presentation and affect the brand uh, the four uh, not being prudent if you have a low relationship uh, within the workplace I think that the consequence is a conflict of interest and because the employee can benefit only to the employee that have a relationship <clears throat> and only teacher. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, girls. Excellent. All right, okay. So, um, 
So it's it's really important not just to know what are ethics and what are unethical practices, but also to reflect on the consequences of those unethical practices. Because um, it's easy sometimes to fall into certain unethical practices, especially um, like, you know, unethical practices at the workplace, especially if other people in our workplace are doing it. So you say, oh, well, you know, everybody's doing it. So if you think this way, um, you know, it's easy to follow the crowd. But if we think about the the consequences, uh, we most likely will um, see why it's important not to follow those unethical practices. All right, guys and girls, very good. Um, we are now going to continue with our class with the next activity. Um, please tell me if you, uh, no, that's not it. Sorry, guys and girls. Um, give me a moment. Oh, okay. Okay, all right, let's try this again. Can you see my PowerPoint? No, yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right now. All right, so let's do it. This is your turn. So I'm going to do group work. So let's organize a discussion panel. Notice it says discussion panel. That means that I want everybody talking, everybody discussing. Okay, so this is a discussion, all right? Um, and take the roles of supervisors, managers, and meditator of the panel. So we're gonna have supervisors, managers, and, med and mediators. We understand the role of a supervisor. Do you understand the role of a mate of a manager? The role of a meditator, um, mediator. Sorry. Do we understand what they do? Uh, maybe med mediator. Mm. What they their their activities? Okay, very good. So the word mediator. It's it's like similar to the word middle, right? Mm -hmm. So a mediator is the one that is between two people that help two people to understand each other better. Okay, so that's the middle person that helps to um, um, that person A understands person B better. In, in, and in this case, they had to mediate with between the supervisor and the manager. Yeah. So not necessary. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So it says, be prepared to give a short presentation of the management of ethics at your department or company and the results. Be prepared to answer questions from the audience. Okay. And that, that means that, for example, manager has a, an idea on what ethicals are, and the supervisor has another idea what ethicals are, and they are discussing and how are they going to uh, manage the ethical in the team group. Yes. Okay. So this is okay. So I'm going to show you the next slide. It will give you a better idea of what what I'm what we what we mean. Okay. So um. Okay, so here, um, we have a, the mediator. Um. You know, we have the the name of the mediator, the name of the manager, and the name of the supervisor. Think about um, a, the tasks 
and you can discuss these questions. How do we implement ethics? How do we evaluate the management of ethics? So we can discuss these questions and the mediator will um, ha think about how, what, what responsibilities or what roles they need to play um, in this discussion when we are discussing these two questions. And also the manager will think about also their tasks or what their responsibility is discussing these two questions and the supervisor as well. Yeah, so we're, yes, we are discussing ethics at the workplace and specifically we're discussing these two questions. How do we implement ethics and how do we evaluate the management of ethics? And depending on if you are the mediator, the manager or the supervisor, you're gonna be looking at these two questions in a different way. Does that make sense? So, so teacher. Okay, so, so everybody like, is, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes, go ahead, Delbert. Uh, sorry, teacher. Uh, I, I don't know if I under, if I get the idea. Mm -hmm. um, we have a uh, three members, right? And mm -hmm. one of them is a uh, mediator. Mm -hmm. One uh, other the manager, the other the supervisor, right? Yes, right. Very and good. The manager and the supervisor have to uh, have to work or have, have to explain how do we implement Eric and how do we evaluate the management of this Eric. Mm -hmm. and the me and the mediator uh, is particip participate of the of the discussion something like that um yeah the mediator is going to participate in the discussion because um they are going to act as a mediator in this discussion right so um yeah sometimes managers and supervisors don't see eye to eye you know um, so the mediator, what are their tasks? Think about what is the the role that they pay, they play in the discussion. But, okay. Uh, um, um, I can when I, I can say an example to have a better idea. Mm -hmm. Um, for example, manager said that if they found someone that I is uh, taking money. Mm -hmm. For example, in mm -hmm. the say in a supermarket, and the manager said that this, so it, it, they discover some someone that are taking money from the cashier, mm -hmm. they're going to uh, to be fired. For example, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the supervisor says that that is a a a, a, a tough decision, and maybe they don't be to get fired but have a pen a penalization for example mm -hmm. and then the mediator it says that the man the decision of the manager is to 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 that is to too hard too hard i don't know yeah that is that too hard that 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 could be the the that could yeah. be a, 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 an example yeah, exactly. Yeah, so um, so they, yes, they are looking how to implement those ethics, right? And they have different ideas. Um, you know, like I said, managers and supervisors don't always see eye to eye, right? So maybe a supervisor thinks something, managers think something different on how to implement that ethical practice. Um, but the mediator is going to help them to see eye to eye, to help them to um, understand each other better. So it's that's why it's a discussion, right? Because we, in the discussion, we all give our opinions and um, we may not agree with someone's opinion, but we talk about it. Okay, does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. Sounds good, everybody. Go ahead. Yeah. 
Okay. All right. Okay. So um, we're gonna we're gonna start the discussion today. Um, of course, um, it, we're 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 not gonna be able to do everything today, but we're gonna start at least. Okay. So um, I'm gonna create breakout rooms. Okay, um, let me just again. Okay, so I'm going to give you about ten minutes, guys. All right. So, um, second, guys. Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to open the rooms right now. Pero creo que tiene que ser eh, ética. Example? Tiene que ser de ética, no una ética. Ética. Oh, ok. Uh, algo bueno. Ética, algo ético, así es. Una mm -hmm. práctica correcta. Algo de una práctica correcta mm -hmm. y estar como un mediador. Mm -hmm. Pero entonces no, no entiendo. Sí. Ya voy a ver el cuadrito porque no sé. Eh, puede ser. No creo que mandaron el cuadrito. ¿eh? Ah, ahorita estoy viendo por acá. Correcto. Ah, aquí está. How do we implement ethics? How do we evaluate the management of ethics? Ah, ok. Yes, it's a chapter. Uh, okay. Uh, sí, es, estaba bien explicado como lo, lo, lo dijeron hace un momentito allá en la, en la sala principal. Tenemos que crear un caso, pero de ética. De ética, un caso de ética. Sí, yo... Sí, sí, diga. Ah, no, lo que no, vaya, pero... Es un caso y hay un mediador, pero ¿por qué tiene que haber un mediador? O sea, eh, que alguien, yo entiendo que alguien quizás estaba cometiendo alguna cosa. No necesariamente, no necesariamente. Acuérdense que el mediador es el que está, es el que da también su opinión, eh, como dándole la razón a, tanto al super... Y, uh, the, the seventh day, right? Yes. And maybe the supervisor uh, uh, 
cell uh, uh, is is the first uh, the first time that this person uh, came late. Uh, then uh, maybe only uh, only we we can give it we can give give you uh, um, I don't know how do you say amonestación. Verbal, verbal, verbal sanction, uh, sanction, 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 and uh, uh, and 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 wait if if if, if this person uh, comes late again, uh, apply the discount, maybe something like that. And the mediator uh, is the is 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 a kind of uh, uh, human resource department and say uh, if uh, apply other other ways to to um, uh, to sanction this person. I don't know how something like that. Um. Yes. Um. <laughs> Can be that uh, the supervisor call call the employee for uh, I for he need a uh, listen because the employee arrived too late mm -hmm. and and then uh, ap apply the the uh, sanction. Mm -hmm. Depend the the depend the the reason the road the reason right right mm -hmm. because maybe they they can late or or he or she can late uh because the traffic is is hard or 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 they have a a, a health of, a problem of health. Yes, or maybe, family is or, sick. Oh, family is sick, uh, and and then the mediator, I think, this part have to have to understand and and put um, uh, some rules. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know how how uh, how to work. No. I don't understand. I don't know. Teacher, are you here? I am. Uh, we are discussing with Sylvia the way of the the, the manage the, the case. Uh, mm -hmm. We are thinking about uh, a, a person that came late in the work, right? Mm -hmm. and the manager said uh, discount the day of the seventh day. Mm -hmm. The supervisor maybe said uh, 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 it's the first time that this person came late, and then and and maybe we can give you a verbal uh, sanction. Uh, and the mediator said mm -hmm. uh, we 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 need to know the reason of of why this person came late, and maybe. Uh, she or he uh, has a, a healthy problem, or mm -hmm. or or traffic or is uh, was hard, maybe like something like that. Mm -hmm. And the mediator puts a or, or creates a rule mm -hmm. to uh, uh, to manage this 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 kind of problem. Mm -hmm. I don't know if if, if we are. We are right with the yeah you're 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 doing good yeah yeah exactly um just make sure that everybody knows everybody in the group knows their uh their role the and role. because you're going to be role playing the discussion mm -hmm. okay so if for example Delbreth if you're the supervisor okay. and um you know Suleima is um the manager. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, Chris says the mediator. You gotta know 
what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. Each person, what they're going to do in the group. Okay. 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 I don't know if the time is the time is over. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is. Um. So we're going to continue. Um. With this, this um activity, um. Okay. Next week, <laughs> because. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. All right. But you guys have the idea but, at least, right? Okay. 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 Wonderful. Okay. So I'll, we're going to return to the main room. Okay, guys, very good. Um, so um, our time is up in the groups, but don't worry because um, we are going to continue with this on Monday, okay? So I uh, have your groups. I know who's working with whom, and hopefully you will be able to um, continue with the discussion on Monday. So let me just take attendance before we leave. Um, I'll start with uh, Christian. Present. Wonderful. Delbert. Present. Great. Diana. Diana, Diana, up to here. Jennifer. Here. Okay. Great. Jorge. Present, teacher. Excellent. Uh, Manuel. Present. Manuel. Okay, great. Maria Elena? Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Mario Ernesto? No, Mario Ernesto? Mario Jose? Norma? Uh, Romario? He just disconnected two oh. minutes before the, mm -hmm. the, the, yeah. the room. And then he can he can come back. You're right. Thank you, Suleyma. Present. Wonderful, uh, Susana. Present. Great, Wendy. Present. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so um, everybody, that will be all for today. Um. We are going to see each other on Monday, so I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And if there is anybody that would like to stay to get, um, a you know, a, a personal tutoring or um, wants to ask a question, you are more than welcome to stay. Okay. Other than that, I will see you on Monday. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Right. Thank you. Monday. You're Blessing. welcome. Bye. 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 Thanks so much. Good night. You're welcome, Marielena. Take care. Have a good weekend.